I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on understanding some important formulas. Here we are going to describe and derive a formula between in radius and the sides of the triangle. When I say in radius, that means we have a circle inside a triangle inscribed in a triangle and in radius is the radius of this circle which is inscribed right so so that is the radius which we are talking about we want to relate this radius with the sides of the triangle right so if we have a circle inscribed in a triangle in that case all the sides will be tangent to the radius right so we have a right triangle right there let us say that the triangle is triangle ABC. Then the sides could be referred to as lowercase ABC. Right? Now, in this particular triangle, as you will see, that if I join the center, let's say the center is O, if I join the center with the vertices, then what do I get? I get three different triangles. Right? Now, we can say that the area of the big triangle, ABC, is basically equal to area of small triangles AOC plus triangle COB plus triangle AOB right so area of all these combined right so we have one of these triangles that is like one of the triangles, correct? Then we could have the other triangle right there. And the third triangle. So it is sum of all these three triangles. Now area of triangle is half base into height, right? So we could write the area of this triangle is what? Half of this side times height. Area of the other triangle will be half of the other side times height. Now in all the three cases, height is what? R, right? That is the height. Right? So we can write down these areas as half of area triangle AOC will be B times R plus COB will be half times a times R plus the angle triangle AOC it will be side C times R so we can take half R common we get B plus A plus C or we can say it is R times A plus B plus C divided by 2 so that becomes the area of triangle right now many times we use s as sum of the sides divide by 2 right so i could also write this as area is r times s perfect so that is a very good relation to remember so if i make this triangle here to remember the relation between them in that case area is R times S. So what is R? The inscribed circle radius. Well, the inscribed circle radius R is equals to the ratio of area over S, right? So these are two very important formulas which you should remember. So, so we have another video where we describe how when we have a circumscribed circle, how is that radius related with the sides of a triangle? And here we have seen how in radius is related. 
Now we'll take up some very important questions where these relations will be utilized to solve questions. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.